Good afternoon, everybody. I'm coming back with another TTM video for you guys today. So today we have uh, some TTMs to show you. We got five of them that I was going to share with you. Uh, I also have some purchases for the 1990 Don Russ set I wanted to share with you. And then we also got a giveaway win for Mr. Tony Black. So we will start with the giveaway win. So Tony was having a giveaway on his channel. And I was the lucky winner on the wheel of spin and uh it was for a dale murphy rookie card and so um uh i'm expecting the dale murphy of course but uh it feels like there's more than that in this package so i wanted to uh, share it with you guys and to also say thanks to tony um a link to his channel will be in my description you guys have to go Check him out, and uh, while you're there, make sure you subscribe and click his notification bell so you know when he puts out any new content. Um, but I'm sure that uh, all you guys watching this probably already know Tony. He's a huge part of our card community, and he's a great guy and does puts out some great content. And uh, the only thing negative about him would probably be he's a Notre Dame fan, but uh, we all can't be perfect. So, <laughs> so you guys got to go check out his channel and subscribe. So let's see what we got from Tony. Okay. So it says, uh, Mr. Stebbins, congrats on your big win of Ernie Witt rookie card. He assigns TTM. Also, I enclosed a small 20-card lot of potential TTMers. Hopefully, they all come back signed in beautiful blue ink. Go, Cubs, go, Tony. P.S. Scott said you're his favorite. Yeah, I know I'm Scott's favorite. I know that he, he, he puts on an act for all you guys, but I'm really his favorite. I know that. It's okay. So... Let's see what we got. So we will start off with the awesome Dale Murphy rookie card. So let's see, you got Dale Murphy, you have Ernie Witt, you have Lance Parrish. Um, with a little bit of work, you can get all three of those signed. Uh, unfortunately, Bo Diaz has passed away, so that would be impossible. But uh, you really, if you wanted to, could get uh, three autographs on this. Uh, we shall see how uh, energetic I am. Uh, but uh, who knows? We might uh, we might see this card on some future videos with some ink on it, and uh, maybe if I feel up to the challenge, I might try to get uh, those other three to get it signed. So we will see. That is one awesome card. I've never had the uh, I've never had the Dale Murphy rookie card, so that is great. Move those off to the side. Put it right there, and then he got this package. Let me get it out of the cardboard here. Okay, so we got this package of cards as well, packed wonderfully. And so we got this uh, Heath Schuler. Oh, we got another Heath Schuler. I've always wanted to try him. I never know why. I don't know why I haven't tried him, but now uh, I have to. So we got the uh, Ozzie Newsom. We all know he's a great signer for a Hall of Famer. We got Felix Milan, from 1970 tops. We got the original Big Hurt. That's a nice card right there. Got uh, Bill Spaceman Lee. Another one I, I can't believe I haven't tried yet, but I have to. So we got two of those. We got Russ Snyder on the Indians. Got Richie Hebner on the Pirates. That one I'm going to have to get out right away here. We got Jim Everett. Jim, don't call me Chris Everett. Steve Atwater, Hall of Famer there. He's a one per. Another one I have not sent out to, but I, I really have to, is Bill Bradley. Awesome. Oh, look at that. Barry Zito, and it's his rookie card. Look at that. Barry Zito rookie card right there. That's what I'm talking about. Had a tremendous, tremendous curveball. Wow. Look at that chrome card right there. That is nice. That is nice. And this, this card right here is awesome because it's a very easy dual signature. Ken Anderson signs for free. Joe Theismann for five per. So for five bucks and a couple of a few stamps, you can get a dual signed card from two great quarterbacks. That's going to be a nice card. Manny Moda, great signer right there. Has a beautiful signature. Desmond Howard. Mr. Heisman. Desmond Howard was awesome. He always used to do the Heisman pose after he'd score a touchdown in college there. Got good old Buck Martinez on the 75 tops. 
Look, look at that Bobby V with those with those Padres uh, colors right there. Love those Padres colors. That's awesome. And finishing up with Brett Butler. That is one awesome package right there. That is an awesome package right there. I'm going to have fun getting those. I'm going to have fun getting those uh, signed. Tony, thank you so much. Really do appreciate it, my friend. And for those of you who haven't checked out his channel, you have to go check it out, guys. Link will be in my description. Uh, before I get uh, into it any further, uh, just a reminder to everybody, uh, the deadline for the February group submission is February 24th. Please make sure you get your orders to me. Um, uh, there is no special this month, so it's going to be regular price. And uh, if you guys have any questions or concerns, just email me. My email will be in the description as well. But again, February 24th is the deadline. So moving on, we're going to move on to our TTMs. So our first one is a 2 of 3 success in 23 days coming out of Sacramento, California. Only thing wasn't signed was the index card. And we got Mr. Chris Cotaroli on the 87 Don Russ. Signed in a beautiful blue Sharpie there. And we got a second 87 Don Russ, Chris Cotaroli. So uh, we do have some trade material there. Uh, I think I actually have this card already. So both of these might be trade material. So there we go. Thank you, Mr. Cotaroli. Really do appreciate it. Our next TTM is a 4 of 4 success in 32 days. It's coming out of Canada. So I've been sending out some hockey cards. And so we were able to get back Mr. Brent Suter. Got him back on this 1992-93 uh, Flare Ultra with the Blackhawks. Got him on the 91-92 Upper Deck with the Islanders. Got him on another Fleer Ultra with the Blackhawks. And then last but not least, we got him on the Stadium Club with the Blackhawks. So definitely excited to get Mr. Suter back. Four out of four. Uh, and only 32 days for, for it to get to Canada and back. So that is really, really awesome. Thank you, sir. Our next TTM success is a two of two success. In 11 days, it's coming out of Salt Lake City, Utah. And we were able to get back golfer Mike Reed. So we got Mr. Reed on this uh, 4x6 photo. And we got him on this 4x6 photo. So we added a couple more of those custom f uh, photos that I did. Of some golfers, like like I said, I'm trying to mix things up. So uh, we've gotten uh, some baseball, we've gotten some hockey, we've gotten some golf. So uh, it seems to be working. So uh, next one is a two of two success in eleven days, it's coming out of West Palm Beach, Florida. Don't really have golf cards, guys. So these customs came in handy, and we were able to get back Mr. Brad Faxon, tremendous pop, tremendously popular golfer in the uh, '80s and '90s. So we got him on this 4x6, and we were able to get him on this 4x6. A little bit more of a close-up of him. Signatures came out great. So glad that the, the uh, people are utilizing that white box for the autographs to uh, make it stand out a little bit more. Really do appreciate it. And for our last TTM success of the week... It's a 1 of 2 success in 14 days coming out of San Antonio, Texas, Rio Grande District. We were able to get back golfer Bill Rogers. So this was just another 4x6 photo I created with him winning, holding up, uh, holding up the trophy there. Thought it was a good pose. He has a sweet, sweet signature. And... Uh, I separate my photos with index cards, so I don't know if it's stuck or if he only wanted to sign one, but he did not sign the second one. So uh, at some point, I'll have to send this back out to him to get signed just, uh, just so I can get it signed because the photo does nothing for me by itself. So I'll have to send it out to get signed sometime in the future. 
So that is it for the successes. Um, on to some purchases. So I uh, made some purchases for, uh, well, I made some purchases for my set, but also got some other stuff uh, added in. So I've bought from this individual before. Uh, they always throw in some extras. So this was an extra. It's an AJ Johnson. And uh, you'll see on the back, it's just minors. AJ Johnson. So I'll have to look more into his career to see what he did. But uh, it was a free auto, so no complaints there. So we got Mr. A.J. Johnson. This was another uh, freebie thrown in. We got Mr. Glenn Hoffman from the Red Sox. And these next few were all $2. $2. So we got the 1990, 1990 Donruss, the rookies, Mike Stanton. Turned out great. We got another 1990 Donruss, the rookies. This one's Scott Ruskin. Again, $2 a piece. Another 1990 Donruss, the rookies, Mike Hartley. And uh, this Mark Davis was also $2. So we got Mark Davis for $2. Needed it for the set. And I needed Mr. Greg Vaughn. I think I'm down to like two rated rookies left. And uh, so this Greg Vaughn was also $2. Couldn't pass that one up. And uh, as you guys know, I'm, I'm kind of dabbling into the 1970 Tops set. So I was able to pick up this Max Alvis for $2. And it's actually in really, really good shape. I mean, it's in really, really good shape. Um, I thought it was going to be a whole lot worse. But uh, that's just a hair right there. But the uh, corners and everything is really, really nice. The centering is actually pretty good. So can't complain for $2. Nice card. And this last card, um, this person, I just want you guys to know this seller is has been re really reliable for me. Um, he's come through on uh, every autograph that I've had authenticated from this person has been legit. A couple of them have been big ones. So um, I talked to him about this next card, and he said he got it in person. So uh, I felt uh, trusted enough to go with that. Of course, you guys know I'm going to get it authenticated anyways. But I was able to pick this up for $20, and it's Mike Schmidt. Again, this person said he did get it in person. Um, he's never led me wrong. He's gotten a couple Tony Gwynns that have been authenticated that came back perfect. He's gotten some bigger names, like I said, that have come back fine. So I took a chance, picked up this Mike Schmidt for 20 and it will be going off to Beckett or PSA for authentication. So I'm glad to knock off the Mike Schmidt, hopefully, if everything clears. And uh, that'll be one, another Hall of Famer off of the Donruss set. And my last pickup, my last pickup was uh, $35 to my door. Uh, I just felt it was too good of a deal to pass up. And that is the John Smoltz Diamond King. And as you can see, it's a JSA authenticated with Beckett slabbing. And uh, I just couldn't pass it up for $35 total. You figure... On a normal normal submission, it's twenty bucks for submission. Uh, so you figure twenty dollars. So to get the card for fifteen, slabbing it for twenty, for thirty five, I just I couldn't pass it up. So we jumped all over that and knocked off another smolts in the set. I think I only have one smolts left to get. So that is awesome. So that is it, guys. That is it for my video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, just remember, the submission for February's Beckett authentication has to be in to me by February 24th. Don't forget. But as always, guys, hope you have a blessed evening. Until our next video. See ya. Bye, guys.